Hi everyone, I'm Lara. Welcome to our yoga practice. Today we're going to be working on some balancing poses. So if balance is something that's tricky, you might want to have a chair or some other sturdy piece of furniture near you. And a blanket might be nice for a little extra padding for your knees. And we're going to get started down on the mat in a version of child's pose. So you can decide if you want your knees really close together as you fold your body down, or it might feel better for you to give your knees some space. You can play around with that positioning and find which one feels the best for you right now. And as we come down, rocking the body from side to side a couple times just to see what kind of sensation you can notice in the hip joints, in your lower back. Just helping your body settle in. And then if it feels good, you can stretch your arms straight out toward the front of the mat and start to sink your chest down. Every time you exhale, feel that connection to gravity. And certain times in our practice, gravity is really helpful to bring us into that space of sinking in and being able to let go. While we're here, we're going to work on one of my favorite kinds of breath to create focus and relaxation. And that is the humming breath. And it's very simple. You're just going to inhale through your nose if you can. And as you exhale, you're going to create a very strong humming sound, like an M, lots of vibration through the throat. And since we're facing toward the mat, it's going to kind of reflect that sound back to you. So you're going to feel like you are just bathed in this nice soothing sound. So we start with an inhale. Humming as you exhale, trying to create as much vibration as you can through the throat. more breaths like that noticing if this process of humming as you exhale helps to lengthen how many seconds you're breathing out for sometimes it makes it easier to slow down your exhale and that really enhances that relaxation effect breath like that. Inhale, exhale, hum. And then noticing if that has helped you to shift into a space of feeling more relaxed or having a bit more internal focus and clarity. Okay, and then we'll start to lift up onto hands and knees. And we'll rock back and forth a couple times, back toward child's pose, up to table. This is a good space to just check in with the lower back and see how that's feeling. Then we'll take that a step further and just watch out if your chair is in front of you <laughs> to lean into a back bend. So you're just letting your hips drop forward, 
drawing up and back. Now from that alignment, you might not feel like it's as easy to go all the way into your child's pose, and that's okay. We'll kind of hover there, lifting into that back bend, drawing in with your lower belly to scoop the hips back. It's almost like we're coming back to puppy pose instead of child's pose. Really enjoy that openness across the heart as you come forward and then melting the heart down toward the mat as you come back. Okay, one more like that. Inhaling forward. All that space in the front body. And lean it back. Okay, so this time as you come up into table. I'm just going to scoot forward so my knees are on the blanket to get the extra cushion. And then I'm going to come up into a kneeling position. So you can inhale here, kneeling mountain pose. Exhale down into child's pose. Wrap the arms around like you're reaching toward your feet. Inhale all the way up. Big upward lift, space through the fingers. Last one, come up, really reach. Draw the hands down toward your heart. We go through this movement of drawing the hands into the heart to remind us to drop our attention from thinking and analyzing into that space of feeling. Okay, so from here, we're going to take our first little challenge and Feel free to have a little bit of playfulness and curiosity with this. Yoga does not have to be serious. We're going to shift our weight onto the right knee and I'm kind of using my arm for a little extra balance. I'm going to start to bring my left leg forward without, oop, I was gonna say without touching, but I needed to tap there. You're going to start to step toward your low lunge really, really testing your balance. And I am doing a ton of wobbling. It's a very tricky transition, but kind of fun. Okay, and we find ourselves in that lunge. Check in with your knees. See how far forward you feel comfortable going today. And then we'll shift back into that half split. A couple times like that, shifting forward, just kind of holding onto the back of your pelvis using your inhale to find that space across the chest. Nice open heart. Folding down, seeing what's going on in the back of the legs. It's usually very interesting. Now this time coming back up, we're going to kind of find that squared off shape where I'm resting on my right knee again. And we're going to try that in reverse. It is tricky. Embrace the wobbling. Okay, so I just try to lift my foot up and see if I can hover there. And slowly bring the knee back. If you go too quickly, we're kind of relying on momentum and we don't want to do that. Make it slow, make it challenging. Embrace the wobbling. Okay, same thing on the other side. Shift your weight onto your left knee. Push your left foot into the floor. The top of the foot gives you a little extra stability. As we start to play with that, bring the right foot forward. Uh, so for me, this side felt much easier. It's always interesting to compare which side feels easier. Very common. Okay. And then we'll start to explore our low lunge. As you come back into that half split, see what's happening in the back of this leg. Shifting forward and just feeling that inhale roll up through the front of the body and drop the shoulders back.
There's lots of space to play with here in your lunge. So if your lower back tends to be a bit more sensitive, what I usually recommend is not going quite as deep because that creates a lot of extension in the lower back. So you might stay a few inches higher up and maintain more length through the low back. It's all part of that process of reading the signals that our body is giving us and recognizing what our body needs today. It's always a little bit different. Okay, this time we're coming back up. Square off that lunge so your hip and your knee are lined up. Shift your weight back, really push into the top of the back foot and then start to challenge your balance as you try to take the weight off your right foot and bring that knee back into your kneeling mountain. Inhale, find some space, some upward lift. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Two more breaths like that. Good. This time as you come down toward your child's pose, we're going to walk the hands out in front, lift up into table, tuck the toes, and start to lift the hips up and find your downward facing dog. Take a moment to acclimate your body here, whatever movements you feel like you need to really settle into your down dog and open Thank you for joining me in this video. If you would like more information on my classes, workshops, or working with me one-on-one, -on -one, head over to my website, lauragyoga.com. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel for more content like this, and check out these two videos next, which were picked out especially for you. I'll see you in the next one.